Good day, everyone. Some years ago, I saw these uh, articles from one newspaper um, that Tinubu said he did not believe in Nigeria. Or he doesn't believe in one Nigeria. So when I saw the article, that was in 2019, I said, okay, let me do some um, verification to know whether it was just doctored to say what he did not talk about. So I discovered that it was true that um, Tinubu Achwandi had been declared wanted by the Nigerian government before and he went into exile and um, he said he doesn't be, um, believe in one Nigeria again. So what happened later when Nigeria returned to a democratic uh, system, he became a senator, a governor and today now he's, he's occupying the position or the seat of president of Nigeria. So why am I bringing out this issue that uh, Tinumbo said he doesn't believe in one Nigeria? You see almost 80% of Nigerian politicians one way or the other or at the time they had this belief that one nigeria will not work but what made them to stop the idea is because they have started benefiting from the system but that is not where i'm going where i'm going is this if someone said he doesn't believe in one nigeria meaning there, there is an idea the person is carrying about the existence of nigeria so i continue to think about other people that has been agitating for this integration of Nigeria, I came to realize that these people primarily don't want Nigeria to divide. But due to circumstances surrounding the country Nigeria, they have come to conclude that it is better for everyone to go in their separate ways. Why am I saying this? Now, when you look at this issue of uh, people agitating for Nigeria to separate, apart from the declaration of Biafra independence by Odumi Gojuku that led to Nigerian and Biafra civil war, after that, there have been a series of people like Kasari Dokubo, um, Wazurike, the movement of uh, emancipation of people of Biafra, something like that. All these people have been jailed. They have been released. But the question is, the idea did not die. The idea did not die by gun. The idea did not die by bullet, by court, by arrest, by military power. You can kill an idea. You can't kill an idea with military power, with threatening people by declaring people wanted. But you can kill an idea by inclusiveness. You can kill an idea by negotiation. Everything about this life is negotiation, is give and take. Before someone begins to say that they don't want to belong to Nigeria again, there is a purpose, there is a reason why they are agitating. And once the need is met, you could see that people will not even think about going in their separate ways. Now. After Wazuri, there have been a lot of people who are agitating. Sunday Buhu was there. He was agitating for um, Odudua independence from Nigeria. And um, he was, you know, militarily chased out of Nigeria. And later he came back. But the idea did not die in him. They can pursue the idea for a while away. But the idea will still come back. The idea will resurrect in another people. Now, after Wazuri, here comes Mazen Namdekano. Namdekano came like a fire and he destroyed so many things with his words, not with corn. He now emancipated the idea of this Biafra by telling people their history. Now, Namdekano was arrested, released, arrested, released. Recently, he was kidnapped and he is still in detention. Now, Namdekano is in detention, he is still in the picture. He has not gone away. Here comes so many other rules like the likes of Simon Ekba. And recently, the Nigeria government had declared Simon Ekba wanted <laughs> for uh, carrying out activities of separatist group for secession. Now, the question is, I think the defense headquarters, the national security advisor, these people should sit. Look at, this thing is not all about you have been experiencing you have, you have experience in military or you have experience in security issues. No. This is a simple idea that these people, you can't win this war by bullet or by declaring them wanted. No. Because, let me take for example, do you people think that even though they arrest Simon Ekba today and jail him, maybe the Afro agitation will end, four of Simon Ekba will still rise. It is normal. It is a proven thing that so many people have studied, have studied, and I know that this is how it's going to be. So, they are just chasing shadow, trying to make people to be popular, trying to give people credit. But the real thing that they're supposed to face, they did not face it. That is, why are these people agitating? 
That is sim the simple question. Why are they agitating? Sit down, think about this. Ask question about this. Why are these people agitating? Are they agitating because they just want to agitate? Are they agitating, spending money, doing all sorts of things because they just want to be famous? No, there is a genuine reason why they are agitating. Until, until, until that reason is met, forget about anything you will do, use military. After the war, if this idea is supposed to die, it's supposed to die after the Biafra war. For this idea to continue to resurrect, and the value of this idea on the people of the Southeast can never be undermined. That is why anywhere from these people, they respect it. Because there is a value attached to it. There is a truth about it, what they are agitating for. Now, if, for example, now, America killed um, Osama bin Laden because he was sponsoring terrorism. Since America killed Osama bin Laden, I think um, the insecurity from across the world has, has increased. Yes, it has increased because you can't kill an idea by bullets. The idea has gone into new, new generation. From the southeast, little children of five years, six years, seven years, they know their history already. So, this has to take a different steps, a different dimension. It has to go a long way before you can convince these people. You have to convince them by development, convince them by inclusiveness, convince them by giving them their own power to secure themselves. We are talking about regionalism. Give them power to rule themselves. We are talking about regional government. And do something that will be different because everything people are talking now, it will not work. If you like, arrest everybody. It will not stop the agitation. So I was expecting the National Security Advisor to have, you know, think in this manner and do something different. What did Buhari not do? Buhari said he will stop Boko Haram in, in six months to one year if he assume office. And after eight years, it increased. He said if you assume office, everything about agitation, nobody will dare talk about it, blah, 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 blah. After his eight years, we are still where we are. It is time for us to begin to think. Everything is not all about force. It's an idea. So, what I'm saying, let me know what you think about it because it is time for every government from across Africa and the world to begin to think and ask questions. Why are my people agitating? Why are these people agitating? Why do they want to go to, in their separate ways? So once they are able to discover the reason why, I think um, the solution will just be at hand. But if you think you can intimidate the people that have an idea by military power and so on and so forth, then no, you are just playing. Because time will come, the land will move, the ground will move away from your feet, and you will realize that there is difference between what you are thinking and the reality. The time will come, you will smell the coffee because you can't win the power of the people. It is an idea imbued in them. It is an it is idea that has turned to custom. A culture cannot be defeated by gun. So let it not be that I'm repeating what I'm saying, but I have to lay more emphasis on it because I don't really know why the government of Nigeria are not thinking in this manner. Unless there is a Western influence trying to bound us to be the way we are. Poverty, hunger, insecurity. But God forbid.